Welcome back everybody to Super Mega Baseball 3 here in Season 1 with the Sharks as we are 11 and 14 on the season. Now in the second half of the year as we continue, we are still tied for last place here in the Western Conference, but it's very close. Both conferences are really tight. No one's really out of it yet. We've been making a couple roster moves lately and I think our team has been in better form. I know that we won three out of our last four and I'm just trying to hopefully get a streak going here that gives us a good shot to compete deep into the season. We have a three game set here against the Warhawks. We won the first game last episode. So I would like to start today by simulating this first game. See if we can win the series here right away. As the Warhawks are able to pull away late, Bram Atkinson hits a two-run single, and that sends us to last place. In the series finale against the Warhawks, whoa, a grand slam by Bram Atkinson. And we didn't get much offense going to begin with, so already two losses out of the gate today. Certainly hurts as we're two and a half games back now, 11 and 16. Oh, Demario Waddle has a new opportunity available. I can't afford it yet, but that wouldn't be bad. A few moderately solid boosts. I mean, plus ones aren't a huge deal. Probably uh, would just have to hope for that 25% chance to hit on the plus five power. But teams are making moves around the league now, and a lot of the good free agents have been signed. I'm not sure yet how I want to attack this. It's my first season I've really taken seriously here in this game. And I know at some point I'm going to want to, you know, switch the approach if I feel like we're just falling out entirely of being able to compete. And we're pretty close to that right now. One thing we could attempt to do is just start to uh, open up some more salary here. Bob Swanson, he's 32 years old. We could instead sign... Logan Aguirre and we would end up getting a bit more salary each week to put into player development and their ratings are pretty similar Swanson's better, but they're both backup catchers. So why don't we make the move? Save a little bit of salary here. We get over a million opened up We'll simulate this game here against the Raptors as we trade runs back and forth and pull away late a lot of offense that gets us back in the win column. Nicely done. We can afford a couple of these packages now. We could upgrade Serrano's contact even more for less than half a million dollars. I do kind of want this Demario Waddle one. You really got to pick and choose how you want to spend your money here. We'll hold on to the salary for now. And today we'll take on the Dragons. It looks like we have two of the worst teams. All right, two of the worst records in the entire league. Did we get Tyrus Sparks on the mound in this one against Bear Sims, who has not played at all for them this season. I wonder if he was just signed. That is what happened. They released Max McDonald to save some salary, it looks like. And... Obviously, they're just trying to make some room. So it's cool that the AI is uh, attempting to do what I am doing amidst uh, a struggling season. Whoa, fitness is down for Neil Hope and Ty Gonzalez. Our lineup's going to be a lot weaker without those two. And we're not going to be able to play them today. Looks like Enter Text is going to have to play first base. And we're going to have to mix up this order in a big way. But hey, if we're going to have an offense that is missing two of our best players, at least we get Sparks on the mound today. And thankfully, Waddle, I've been hitting better with him. For sure there are certain players where just like, mentally, I just, I don't hit well with them. It happens in uh, this game, it happens in the show. I think just my confidence level with certain players affects my entire approach with them. But it's getting better for Waddle. Full count, base hit, center field. Now, I don't expect many home runs today. We do not have a lot of power in this lineup. But one player who has it is Sylvester Seymour. Nine homers on the year, now 30 RBIs. Oh, that was right down the middle. In there for strike two. And, okay, well, at least advance Waddle as Seymour grounds out. Sonny Cooker's hitting 317. He'll bat third today. 
Whoops. Thankfully foul. And that's on the ground as Waddle moves to third base. Can we get the base hit, Ollie Sparks? Only a 215 average this year. Needs something good. And Sparks in the air to center. Didn't get all of that one. And that is it for the top of the first. All right. Pitching a lot with Tyrus Sparks lately. 287 ERA. That's why to first. Looks like the ERA has come up a little bit for him. But overall, we've gotten the season that we hoped for from him. And I really hope we can have him on the team next year. One of the dynamics here in franchise is that when you have a player on a salary, they remain on that same salary until they test free agency. So when you sign a free agent to $16 million, they continue to make that until they opt out. So, basically, you've got to realize that these contracts are going to be around a while for younger players. And then for older players, they're probably going to be going up. There we go, catching the inside corner against Ross. So that's just something to keep in mind when contracts happen, when you sign somebody, that's what they'll make until they test again. Trying to end the inning here with a nice strikeout. That'll do! Two strikeouts in the first, and we'll move on. Here's Casey Daniels, whose season has not been quite as good as I thought it would or could be. Drilled the center, hit pretty well, and not out of reach for Keiston Holiday. Oh, man. Poof Cobb still hitting 457. He's incredible. Will that fall in? I don't think so. Omar Serrano, 234. I know in past series, some of my better contact hitters have not been that successful. I know with the B-Wolves, we had Jonathan Starks and Darren Rose, and I just could not get comfortable hitting with them. It took a few years. Sometimes, just can't get comfortable with certain hitters. But we'll go bottom two now after a very quick inning. And this is hit pretty well. Serrano goes back to the track and makes the catch. Doug Duckett hit sharply under the glove of Boof Cobb. All right. I thought he had that one. I like having Cobb at short, though. His defense is really solid. And we've seen a lot of good play from him. There we go. Throwing out Doug Duckett. And here's Keiston Holiday, quickly behind in the count. Let's go with this two seaman on the hands. No? How about this change up? Strike three looking! Some real quick innings here. Enter Text has decent numbers for his limited playing time. I'm getting some pitches I like, just not doing a thing with them. One down. Here's Hudson Lumen with 11 RBIs on the year and a really high average. Especially given his ratings. But still, just not getting good contact today. Demario Waddle has a hit, I think, or only one to this point. Waddle drills it to Reggie Shepard. Shepard playing short or uh, second base? I think he's supposed to play right field, but maybe they have an injury or something. I also made sure that, like, every team had at least one utility player. Over the glove of Sparks. That utility trade is super valuable if you have a chance to uh, attain it. I try to make sure that you always have at least one utility player. That's it pretty softly but still gets into right field and two are aboard now for the dragons axel adams trying to bring home a run he has 11 rbis on the season trying to get an early strike here and that is hammered into the outfield that'll bring home at least one waddle plays it off the wall and it's one nothing dragons on the rbi double Still nobody down, and we're facing the heart of this order right here. K-1 
Kiyoshi Tahara, center field on a bad pitch, and that'll plate two more. It's 3 nothing. Another extra base hit. Now we got to really limit this damage. ERA north of three now for Tyrus Sparks. Wow. Everything going into the outfield. Waddle throwing home, and Tahara's there safely. That'll be another double for the Dragons. It's 4 nothing, and this is becoming maybe the worst start I've had with Tyrus Sparks. Four runs. And there have been a couple hits that I thought we could make a play on. But they were hit pretty well. That just keeps happening. I don't know what's up. Throwing home again. They'll go to second. Just the same thing over and over again. This is just ridiculous at this point. We never expect this kind of a game for Sparks, and we're against a team with a terrible record. Finally, the first out of the inning. Although I should have been able to get that runner. I had... I played the ball behind him. I was in a good spot to get him out. Gotta be more mindful of uh, opportunities like that. There we go. Looking back to third base. Get the outs. Please just 5 nothing. Will Holiday chase? He does. Alright. Lumen over. We got some work to do now. Five runs on eight hits for the Dragons. Here's Seymour. Oh, no. Sonny Cooker up now. We'll avoid that one on the corner. Not going to do much with it anyway. There we go. Laying off a few now. 3-1 count. And inside. Cooker draws the walk. Just want to chip away here. I want one run this inning. Ollie Sparks. Well, that was a good pitch. Two strikes now on Sparks. And that's hammered to short. And that's going to be a double play. Got a good swing. Just... Worst outcome. Yeah, these singles are just getting ripped to center every time. I think Sparks Day might be done pretty soon. Stop by Seymour. A nice diving play. As we do get the first out. I think this is going to be the last inning though for Sparks. I want to get through this fourth if possible. Text. Up top and off his glove, and another run is going to come around. So many close plays, and it's just over and over again. How unlucky can you get? All right. So, uh, maybe we just got to say that Sparks has to keep going because we don't have anybody, really, that can give us a bunch of innings. There's a nice double play. So Sparks is just going to have to pitch through this one for a little bit. Casey Daniels off the glove. That's a fair ball. We'll take the single. Boof Cobb's turn now. He's locked in still. Way ahead of that one. Missing again. The ratings here are not that good. I need more than two hits. I'll take walks. That's fine. I'm not going. Not if you're going to keep missing the zone. There we go. A walk. Cobb on first now. Serrano will face Cornelius Gunn. They're going to their bullpen already, despite no runs allowed. But I guess Sims had pretty much uh, run out of stamina. So now we got to be ready for a bit more heat here on the fastball. But we shouldn't see too much movement here. He has the screwball. But how much will he throw it? 97 here from Gunn. Well, I'm late on that one. Two strikes. Wow, way behind everything. Enter text. I don't know if I can hit his fastball. And he's finding the zone every time. 
Wow, another one. Hudson Lumen. We got to get something here. We had two on, nobody down. I just can't catch up. There we go. And it's, of course, caught. Spark stays in for the fifth. And that's going to be a home run. Seven to nothing, Dragons. What is this game? What is this entire game right now? 11 homers for Tommy Ross. Wow. Yeah, we're simming the rest of that one. It's pretty much over. Not my game. 7 nothing is enough for me. And that's going to drop us. To 12 and 17 on the season let's go to our next game now we'll take on the Firebirds Astrid Morrison on the mound and we'll see if we can do a little bit better this time looks like the fitness is still an issue for Hope and Gonzalez they'll need to sit out a couple more games so we're pretty much gonna use the same lineup that I couldn't hit with earlier Let's get into it here. Firebirds and the Sharks. I'll have to deal with this velocity again. That's pretty good. Waddle! Oh my! Another pitcher has been hit. Waddle reaches. And Axel Chapman's going to enter the game now. Just a couple pitches in. Another pitcher has been injured. Seymour hammered down the line. It's fair. All right. Waddle the third. He'll hold there. And we have two on. Nobody down. Already a massive improvement. Didn't make any mojo changes. Just hit the ball better. Sonny Cooker trying to bring someone home. Oh, boy. Good battle here with Sonny Cooker. And he'll line it. Yes, it's down, thankfully. Waddle scores. It's 1-0 here in the first. Now let's get that second run and fix the mojo for Sparks. Well, that's hammered pretty well out to left center field. And it's down for a hit. Ollie Sparks and RBI double. 2-0. Wait, already? That's your third pitcher. I thought there was a three batter minimum. Oh, I guess they've gone through three batters. All right. Third pitcher already. Casey Daniels. No. Double play. All right. We got two, though. I'm happy with that. Now let's see if I can pitch a bit better. William Lindsley is tense. I'd like to fix this mojo and have a good outing with him. Not a great start. Oh, Waddle! The perfect sliding catch. Are you kidding me? Two strikes here for William Lindsley. Not bad. Laying off the close ones. That's good. Can he hit it again? Well, missed that one a little bit. That didn't work. Marlon Harper up, and he lifts it to shallow center. Here's Waddle for the second out. Flip Stewart has 10 homers and 20 RBIs. He's retired to end the first. Good start for the Sharks. Boof Cobb, 438. Still one of the better averages in all of baseball. That's hit well to center, not well enough. Won't be his first home run. Serrano, that's a line drive into center, and that's the swing we've been waiting to see more of. I'll probably skip a few more at-bats in this one to keep the episode length from getting too out of hand, so just trying to make the episode a bit better after a rough uh, first game. Wasn't a very good one. Hudson Lumen with two down. He'll find the gap, and here we go. Can't cut it off, and that may cost Rose. Around third base, and that's a run for the Sharks. Now 
Excellent start. Here's Waddle now, over 200 average. Demario crushes it to center. Does it have enough? It's no! He robbed it! Come on, man! How do you do that to Demario Waddle? He literally robbed the home run. That's the first one I've seen in this game. Why'd it have to happen to Waddle? That's crushed. Waddle the right center on a very bad pitch, and that's gone. Don't miss your spots. 3-1. Over Seymour's head, and that's another hit. Getting past Serrano. It's a double. Strike two swinging. Fork ball. Right through the middle. Those singles are so annoying. We can never stop them. And here's Ryan Rose, who has one of the best averages in the entire league. And he took a home run from Demario Waddle. I can't believe he did that. Still nobody down. And we'll trade a run here for two outs. But it's 3-2. Another one of those sharp singles right through the middle. Like that to me, that hit happening over and over again is a sign that your pitcher needs to come out of the game. Or needs to soon. Lindsley still tense, trying to fix it. Not sure this is going to be enough. But we have a one run lead at least. Sylvester Seymour has nine homers on the year. I want to hit number 10. Seymour drills it to left. We'll settle for a base hit. Missing again. It's 3-1 to Cooker. And the count runs full. I'm making him throw some pitches. Whoa! Almost hit him. Two on. Fourth pitcher of the day now. Brantley Wilkerson will enter. How many more relievers do they even have that they can pitch today? Like one more? Oh boy, big swing and miss from Ollie Sparks. Ah, tapped it. And it'll be one out. Yeah, their bullpen was in rough shape coming into this game with stamina being down already. So this is going to be interesting when they get deep into this ball game. Driven by Daniels. Well to center. And that's going to be a tag opportunity. And now it's 4-2 Sharks. Boof Cobb is still locked in. Oh no, that could have been a home run. That could have been it. Cobb, right center, and it's down. Do we score again on this? We're going to test it. Richards into second. Stewart throwing home too late. 5-2. Boof Cobb does it again. Ah, lifted that one into right center. But we got two more. Back to a three-run game. There we go. Got a couple pitches in there. We got two strikes. Oh, just missed. I really want the strike out here. I want the mojo. Yes! Great job, Lindsley. Now he's neutral. Big help. And now uh, a potential double. Not good. But at least we have two down already. Thankfully, RBI dud here for Aaron Uptown. Ooh, a couple good takes here. Let's go back to the heat. Great pitch. Sparks has it. Good inning. Lumen hammers one to left center field. I continue to make solid contact with him. We're keeping Rose busy in the outfield. There's a double. Demario Waddle now. Six RBIs on the year. That is not enough. That will not get to center field, and he's retired. RBI 32, perhaps, for Seymour? I don't like that one. Somehow it's a strike. 
Ah, I like that one more. Not even sure it was a strike. Two strikes here from Lindsley. And Richards hits it in the air to Serrano. Gotta keep going back. I misjudged that one initially. I thought it'd be in like another 50 feet. There we go, on the corners. Starting to get in the zone. Strike three looking. Lindsley, this is awesome. Now let's strike out Ryan Rose. He took a home run from Waddle. Never forget that. There we go, big swing and miss. Let's go for it again. Well, he hit it pretty well. And he hit it to Waddle, of course. Base hit. Hammered into right center. Waddle chasing it in the gap. And he can't make the catch. I misjudged it by a little bit. And Rose is going to score. And Lindsley's tense again. I could have prevented that. Oh, no. Come on. Got him at first. Good recovery. To the fifth inning now. And Sonny Cooker at the plate. Whoa, stamina getting low for Brantley Wilkerson. So we'll see if they have another move to make and what they uh, do to manage the rest of this ball game. Can't catch up to that one. Just missing the outside corner. That's hammered by Sparks. Right center and down. Should be his second double of the day. Casey Daniels up again. Way upstairs. On the ground. Oh, off the glove. That's a base hit. Alright, Kyrie Ayers will enter. Is he their final reliever? Well, he's a starting pitcher, actually. His ratings are fine. I wonder if they made it so, like, if you're out of relievers, there's no negative for playing your starters. That, to me, would make sense from a balancing standpoint. I think that would be a good design decision overall. 2-1. Missing inside. To Boof Cobb. And Cobb drills it to center. But not a power swing. Here's Serrano now in a two-run game. First and third. Oh, man. Underneath it. Firebirds. Keep it a two-run game. Lindsley pitching into the fifth. This will likely be his last inning. Hopefully he goes all the way through. There's two strikes. And the fastball is hammered to center. A lot of air underneath it. And Waddle makes the catch. Strike three now for William Lindsley. Overall, this has been a decent outing. I don't know if it's really going to help his ERA. But I've enjoyed pitching with him. Weekly hit. Not bad. I could consider pitching him into the sixth. I'll see where their order's at. Hudson Lumen has two doubles on the day. Up again here in the sixth. Lumen left center. I just know how to hit with him. Rose gets it quickly, trying to throw him out at second. No good. Third double for Lumen. Why do I have him batting ninth ever? I can clearly hit with him. Here's Waddle now. Right through the middle. That's what I like to see. Won't test it this time. And now we got Sylvester Seymour. Let's get that 32nd RBI right here. Oh, man. Just behind it. There we go. That's what we've been waiting for. Don't even bother seeing if it's caught. Into the second deck, a three-run home run for Sylvester Seymour. 4.49, 10th homer of the year.
Ollie Sparks comes through. Another well hit single to center. I've had a pretty good game here with him. And now Casey. Can I get my contact swing to work? Not here. There we go. Oh, off the glove again. Lindsley. Mojo goes down from that, too. Trying to get a couple more outs with him. Maybe I'm, uh, you know, making another mistake here. Cobb can't jump 40 feet, and that's another hit. Got away with that one. Wow. Fork ball swung on and missed. There's another strikeout for Lindsley. Yeah, I don't want to deal with Ryan Rose, though. Why is he batting eighth? That doesn't make any sense. Let's go with Velez here. The numbers are solid for him. He's been a good addition. Didn't get the right spot there. Rose with a drive, and it's gone! Three run shots. We still have a ball game here. Why is he batting eighth? Eight to six. Really good game. Having some trouble with his accuracy, though, and that's what happened on the home run. Tapped it. And Tex makes the play. Oh, no! Velez couldn't play it cleanly. Wow, that should have been an out. Now Rowland represents the potential tying run. Thankfully ahead in the count. Wow. Pretty good swing. Cooker makes the catch. Two down. Wow, it's hammered to left and now it's a tie game. Firebirds come all the way back. Second homer allowed by Velez. I don't know what happened. He's going to come out of the game, though. We'll go to Tanner Parker. A brand new ball game. I thought it was over at 8-3. Got to get scoring again. That big uh, home run from Seymour. Even more important now. Let's get back to hitting. Oof Cobb at the plate. He can start a rally here. Cobb foul. Ah, rolled it over to Jarvis. One away. Enter text. Not doing much today. Ah, shouldn't swing at that one. Now we got to get some outs. Flip Stewart. Can Parker get us a good inning here? Doesn't have the best stamina. Just trying to get a couple quick strikeouts. There we go. That's working. Jam to Sparks. Two down now. Jacob Richards at the plate. And that's another sharp single into center. If we can get this quick out, he might be able to pitch a little bit into the eighth. Come on. Ah, I didn't hit my spot. Still may get the out. Got him. On to the eighth. Tied at eight. At least we have Hudson Lumen looking for a fourth double. Lumen right center. Are you kidding me? A fourth double to lead off the eighth inning. All right, Waddle. Two for four on the day. What do we got now? Ooh, I thought about it. Really wanted to. Two quick strikes from Ayers. Pretty good pitches, and that's a base hit for Waddle. Lumen rounds third and turns back. He's still safe. At the last moment, I'm like, no, let's not do it. Seymour, a triple from the cycle. 
What can we do? Lay off that pitch, of course. 2-0 to Sylvester Seymour. 3-0! I'm going green light if it's good. It's not. Four pitch walk. Bases juiced now for Sonny Cooker. Showtime. Cooker! Oh, that's so close. I don't think he got it, though. Go back. And now we can tag. Almost missed my chance. Nine to eight. Ollie Sparks up. Ooh, I should have swung at that one. Not going to get a pitch that good again. Go back, go back. Two and two. Right down the middle and crushed to center. I got a good feeling about this one. Way over the top of the batter's eye. A three-run blast. Huge day for Ollie Sparks. 15 RBIs now on the season. That's what I'm talking about. And after some of the closer games we've played lately, like a game like this, it feels more fun. It feels more earned. Somehow got that to fall in with Casey, so we might not be finished here. Here's Boof Cobb. Neutral Mojo? That's not good. Boof Cobb with the drive! Do you believe in miracles? It's over the head of Rose. It's a double. One day it'll happen. Mojo up again for him. Let's score more. We might need these runs. What? That hit him. That doesn't happen very often. Enter text is 0 for 4. No one else but Neil Hope could play this spot, but with his stamina, is it worth it? Not in a four-run game that we're winning. Wow! Got a perfect pitch to hit. Enter text RBI double. We want more than two. Let's clear the bases. 15-8. Monster inning here for the Sharks. Lumen, another base hit. No double this time. I felt like with their pitching situation late in the game, we'd have a big chance to break the game open. And sure enough, here we are. And that may still bring home another run. And it will. Eight here in the eighth. Oh boy, Seymour. Couldn't get underneath that one. Base hit. Ah, jam that time. I think the fun's over, but we got what we came for. Eight more runs. Now for the last goal, I want to strike out Ryan Rose. May have to settle for a flyout. Down the line, slicing foul, almost off the foul pole. Firebirds here, two on, two down. Almost got three back, and now one is hit well to center. I think that's going to be gone. Whoa, way back. Lots of scoring today. This is not good for anybody's ERA today. Harry Fitzpatrick will enter now. The ERA is still in the eights. And I'll have him hopefully pitch out the ninth. Whoa, Ollie Sparks feeling it today. Swinging the bat well. Casey Daniels will come through with a base hit. Let's build this lead up again. Now let's target 20 runs. Boof Cobb's locked in now. Does he have the power to go yard? Oh, we almost found out. Cobb. He's going to find right field grass again. Base hit. Loaded. Serrano, can he come through? Omar Serrano, line drive into center. 
Yep, just a huge offensive day. 18-11. Hudson Lumen is now locked in. Wow. Got a great pitch. Double play. Firebirds need seven. Well, they're down to their final out here, and that is... Oh, stopped by Fitzpatrick. Well done. The game is over. 18-11. At last, this one ends, and the Sharks win. Pretty exciting game. Haven't had too many like this lately. Wow, I didn't strike out the entire game? How did I do that? Five for six with two players, and then four for five with Seymour? Wow. Hey, we're not in last place anymore. A couple teams are at 13 and 18, so we're not really making a lot of progress. Still just winning a couple, losing a couple. Eventually, we have to go on a run if we're going to uh, do what we need to do this year. Oh boy, Neil Hope can't see the ball like he used to, and now he lost four contact. Regression for Neil Hope. Hope you all enjoyed the action today. Here are the league leaders around our league now. Sylvester Seymour, second in RBIs and tied for second in home runs. Neil Hope has one of the best averages. And I'll be back again soon. We'll continue to get through this season, see if anything changes. You know, we have to go on some kind of a run. And now we're in that, you know, that last portion of the season here, about 18 games to go. We'll see what happens. Thank you all for watching. Please leave your feedback below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day.